Well, for Shivani Damija, life as a young woman in India had become untenable. So much so that she left everything behind to go out on her own and look for a new life in Canada. She lives in Halifax now, has her own business, and she's working on a new project to help other immigrants. Morning, Shivani. Happy International Women's Day. Happy International Women's Day. How old were you when you left India? I was 25. Did you pick Canada or did Canada just come up? I just wanted to get out of my country, have a good life. Um, I tried UK. Uh, I, my visa got rejected and then I tried Canada. I am really lucky to come over here. What made you want to leave India? That's a big decision for a young adult. I was actually a newly divorced woman who doesn't have a great life back in India. A woman who is divorced, you don't have a life of your own. And so I was like, I'm done. Was this an arranged marriage? Or was this a marriage yes, that it was it an arranged been? marriage. So I was a victim of a dowry. My mother-in-law, uh, she wanted more dowry and I was not agreeing to it. I was in a lot of depression. So, But I did not give up. I was like, if I have to get up, get up from my depression, I have to get out of this country. In an arranged marriage, obviously, your family is obviously involved with that. Yes. What was their reaction to My yours? parents were really supportive. My mom was not happy with the decision that I'm leaving the country, and she still regrets it because I'm very far from her. But did you see your leaving as purely personal, just about Shavani? Or was it partially political in the personal sense, i.e., that was a feminist statement to some extent, so as a woman in India, I can't do these things that I might be able to do if I go someplace else? I At that time, I did not know the meaning of feminism. I was just uh, suffering so much as a woman. I did not know that... I knew Canada is a developed country. I did not know that women have more rights over here. When you're back in India... Uh, or in any of those Middle Eastern countries, uh, uh, you are not free to wear dresses you like. Uh, like, even if you're wearing a simple jeans, uh, uh, men are going to target you. Uh, uh, there'll be a lot of sexual harassment. They'll touch you and go as if uh, we are their property. But it didn't happen over here. I could wear whatever I liked. And when I landed in Canada and I saw other women, they were so free and everything. I was I was actually surprised. That was a cultural shock for me. Uh, I like I just went to India back in, like over two weeks ago, and I was surprised India has changed a lot. But you know what? The basics of India respecting women that is not coming in India but I see over here in Canada over here in Canada there's a lot of respect for women I see that but you didn't see the, the decision no, I didn't see didn't that. come out as sort of a, no. a feminist awakening it was sort of I personally just got to get out of here and yes. change my own yes. individual situation yes but clearly you now do see it through kind of a feminist yes. perspective yes. or prism yes yeah. what's the hardest part of adjusting to your life here because I have uh, been through so much back in India, it was much easier over here. <laughs> uh, when people complain me in Canada that this is not happening, this is not happening, I'm like, go back to India and then you'll understand. <laughs> There's a lot of difference. It was tough. Like initially two or three months, uh, I actually laugh on it when I landed in the airport and um, my friend came to pick me up and he was talking to the waitress in normal English. And, I was like, and when she went and I was like, why are you talking to her in French? Do you know French? Like I was talking in English. I was like, I could not understand a word. That's because there was a different accent. I did not understand. I have been speaking English all my life, but I could not understand him at all. There's a lot of difference in the English and that's the biggest hurdle I found. Uh, again, there were many things like back in India, uh, no, I'll say over here in Canada, no question is a silly question. That's what I learned from the professors. And I love this concept. But over there, every question is a silly question in front of your professor. So I was really scared at first. And I really wished us uh, over here, uh, I could find a friend who could like get me more involved in the Canadian community. The first few months of in Canada were really difficult to understand what the Canadian culture is mm -hmm. and everything. Um, but uh, now I'm perfectly fine. <laughs> you went to school for a while? Yes, for eight months. And was that primarily about English 
or was no it was for i was doing my diploma in public relations and then you came back was it hard to get a job it was tough to get a job uh, you know what uh, there's a reason behind it because i was not told that networking is important over here in canada but in india if you have good grades uh, you get a job but over here i was concentrating on my grades i did not concentrate on networking and then i left london immediately after the completing my graduation i was kind of introvert in my college um wasn't so that was the thing i miss i wish someone told me that networking is really important don't focus just on grades focus on volunteering focus on networking um that's the only thing and uh, that's the reason i actually started a youtube channel life for immigrants where i talk to immigrants that what do you need uh, uh if you are over here if you're new over here yeah. I, i know you're working in that have you got that up and running already it's already running yeah. um um i took a break when i was in india but i'll be back on it within a week or two so i'll be talking like few simple things even if things like should you bring jacket from your home country or should you buy a jacket from here <laughs> so maybe sometime soon when you get back at it we'll talk a little bit about what kind of response you've had to that yes <laughs> it was a pleasure to meet you thank you very much yeah, for coming you're in welcome. Shivana Damija runs Shivani's Kitchen in Halifax. What a wonderful idea to have a YouTube channel. People can just, it's the little things we don't think of, of course. And I think that's the focus too, the very straightforward elementary yeah. things that uh, you might not think about if you're on the other side either. Exactly. You know? And even the social thing, like she talked about, not really understanding how important networking was, not just your school grades. Very interesting.